Okay, welcome to grade nine math. This is the start of a new unit, unit four, linear relations, and we're in lesson one. So today we're going to do distance time graphs. Um, and by the end of this class, we should be able to write a story to match a distance time graph and create a distance time graph based on a story. So we're asked to use a, uh, a Gizmos activity. Uh, feel free to do this on your own. You can check this out, although you need a teacher's account. And this changes year to year. So given this video this year, it could be a different code next year. But uh, and if we're in school as normal, we'd be able to do this. But uh, Think of the beep test that you do in gym class and you're running back and forth and back and forth uh, according to the beeps. It's kind of like something like that. So, okay, we're going to continue. Uh, here we are trying to create a story from what the graph is telling us. So now it's a bit unrealistic. It's saying we can go 20 meters in one second. I don't know too many people can do that. Maybe uh, Superman or the Flash, but uh, uh, regardless, um, we will come up with um, a story based on what they're telling us. So, what we like to first understand is that going in this direction is away from the start line. Going in this direction is towards. The start line. Anyway, in this case, he's not going towards the start line. But so I like to break these segments into parts. So we might say, okay, well, we have segment A, we have segment B, segment C, and segment D. So we can say that A, what is happening? Well, he, uh, the person is be begin at start line. Okay, and then what happens after that? Well, there looks like there must be going pretty fast in one second for 20 seconds. So they run one second to the 20 meter line. Again, think of the gym, like when you're running a beep test. All right, so they've done that. Now, what is happening here, do you think? His distance is not changing, but his time is. How could that be? Well, he's at rest. So in B, rest for one second. Good. And then C looks a lot like A. So C, he again is running one second to the 40 meter line. And then what's he doing here again? Resting. There we go. Okay, so I want to pause the video and I want you to try number two before I do it. Pause. All right, so let's take this one up together. Again, I like to use uh, sections. So I'm gonna call that A and really looks like B is all one big section. So at A, begin at 20 meters away from, ah, that's from <laughs> the start line. messy 
writing, sorry. And so again, he's going super fast, one second, 20 meters. Okay, so he's going to go run one second to the start line. We'll say toward the start line. Okay, good. And if this is a running pace, when maybe this is more like a jogging pace, well, that was still A too. Sorry, that section was A, B. He's going to jog for one, two, three seconds away from the start line to the 30 meter line. Again, this is just a suggestion of how to write. Um, you know, there's more than one way to write these these sentences. But uh, that's just, and you could say it a different way and still mean the same thing. And that's where they ended. There's no rest. And again, I don't know anyone that can run full speed and switch directions full speed without that's slowing down first. Now, that's what you'll notice about linear lines. These would be average speeds, average speed. A normal person, you know, would have to, would be running fast and then slow down gradually. And then they would s speed up gradually and go fast. But these aren't straight lines. And our grade nine course is all about straight lines. So we have to take that as an average. So it's important that you realize that, that it's not realistic to switch directions like that without losing any speed. All right, so pause the video and try this last scenario and come up with a story for it. Okay, so let's do this. So we're going to call these sections again, A, B, C, and D. So what do we think is happening in A? Well, um, they begin at 40 meters. They pause or rest for one second. Okay, so that's up here. And then they're going to be in section B. They are running for one second to the start line. Okay, good. And again, no deceleration, no acceleration. So a little bit unrealistic, but that's okay. We're talking about straight line relationships so that's a they must be running there so running because look how steep it is notice how we said that this is pretty steep this is less steep so we called it jogging we called this running this is very steep we'll call it running it's the same steepness just the other direction and it's running also um, they're running for one second away from the start line to the 40 meter line. Again, I don't know anyone that can run 40 meters in one second, but again, must be a superhero. All right, so let's move on from this. And this time, we are given scenarios and we're asked to graph them. All right, so we 
I have a sprinter here and he's beginning his run at the 20 meter line. And we're going to say he's going at a slower pace, even though it's not really that much slower. And he's going to go uh, walk toward the start line for two seconds. So it doesn't say he reaches the start line, but he walks for two seconds. So one, two. So we could really put this anywhere we want here. There's nothing that tells us how much um, how much time he went. So let's just say he didn't quite get to the start line. He made it to here or something like that. Again, it could be anywhere. All right, then he ran back to the starting position in one second. So he took two seconds to get here, one second to get back to the start. Remember, this was the start position. And then he stops for one second. So you might be wondering what the heck I'm doing with no lines, but there we go. We do our lines now. Oh, that happened to me before. We want lines, green ones. Go. Oh. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Making a No, it doesn't want me to make lines. Something like that. Won't worry about the color so much. All right, good. So I've done one example. Now I want you to pause it. Pause the video and I want you to try number two on your own. All right, let's take it up now. And uh, beginning at the start line, run forward for one second. Doesn't really say how far they're going to go. Um, so that's kind of up to us. So begin at the start line, run forward for one second. So let's say, I don't know, he ran the 20, perhaps. And then he stops for one second. So he ran forward for one second, he stops for one second. So one second later, he didn't go anywhere. His distance didn't change. And then he's going to walk back to the start line over two seconds. So if this was a steepness of a run, then he can walking is a less steep speed. And he's going back. They said they said he's going back to the start line. They really don't want me to draw these lines, do they? And there we go. Okay, so that's where our graph is going to look like. Hopefully you're using a ruler doing a nice job with that. All right. Again, try number three before I give you that. Okay. So let's go um, begin at the start line. And we're going to run to the finish line for two seconds. So the finish line's up here, right? We're running for two seconds all the way up. Then when you get there, run, turn around and run all the way back for two seconds. So pretty straightforward. It's a sprint there and a sprint there. And again, without thinking about deceleration and acceleration. Okay, good. What letters of the alphabet can you make with the gizmos? Oh, <laughs> well, we can make A's and B's, I guess. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, I can't think of anything else. Maybe make A's and B's. Maybe a U. Count that as a U. No, not even. Oh, you can make W's. 
when you make your graph appear curved or close to it. Uh, how does that affect the runner's moves? Well, you don't have to like make a bunch of separate lines like that. And they could almost look curved. Okay, that's, that's not the focus here. So let's move along. This is stuff is uh, more of the important theory we have to talk about, and so that you really understand this these concepts. So linear sections indicate periods of constant speed. Constant means average, meaning it doesn't take into account any deceleration or acceleration. But we will talk about that soon. So a section with a positive slope will indicate traveling away from the start line. So if this is the start line, right? This is the start. We're going away. Away. Okay, so that's in a, a deal, the away direction, going away from it. So you can always see this upward slope because time always goes by. So tick, 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 time is going by. In a negative slope, uh, it doesn't mean, negative doesn't mean something bad, okay? It doesn't, it just means a direction. So it doesn't matter, it doesn't mean it's a negative, um, bad result. Okay, sections with negative slopes are journeys that go towards the start line. So again, here's the start. And we're going towards. Towards the start line. So that's all. But but remember that. So anytime you see an upward to the up and to the right, you're gonna know if it's positive. Anytime you see down and to the right, it's negative. Now, this is what people forget sometimes. Steeper on the graph means more quickly. Flatter is more slowly. And it doesn't matter. When we talk about steepness, it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. Like these two have the same steepness. Look at the angle, they're pretty much the same angle. So that's the same steepness. So steeper could be negative or positive. It's, it's really the angle it's going. Horizontal, horizontal sections are rest sections. So that's, we've already figured that out. Now that's linear. Those are straight lines. What happens when we get curved lines? Well, curved lines are interesting. Uh, they mean that the speed is changing. So if you're speeding up, look, you're going slow, 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 and then speeding up, speeding up, speeding up. When I'm going slow, I'm hardly traveling at all, any distance. But all of a sudden I start to pick up speed and now I'm changing, gaining distance faster, sooner. Uh, speeding up again, if I'm going home, back, towards uh, the start. I go off gradually, gradually, not moving very much, and then steeper and steeper, we're going faster. This could be something falling, right? Parachuter, or a diver from a diving board coming down. This could be a, a car accelerating, starting off slow, speeding up. You know, a diver jumps off and gravity pulls them faster and faster to the ground. What about decelerating? Okay, well, here's that, um, a car moving fast, moving fast, and then applying the brakes, and now they're slowing down. So look, the distance traveled is much steeper than slowing, and as it's slowing down, there's not much difference in the speed and the distance anymore. Here again, what if, you're falling, you're falling, you're falling, you're falling, and then you open the parachute and you slow down, something like that. Who knows? Maybe it's a bird diving and opens up his wings and he can glide. Okay, so very good. <laughs> that was a long explanation for something you probably understood fairly easily. So keep those in mind. It makes a lot of sense when you see it that way. Okay. Here we could go and um, they want you to come up with a story. So similar graphs can create, um, be created for situations where other measurable quantities are changing with time. 
for example, height time graphs or the volume time graph. So filling something up or something is growing like a plant. So we can create a story to match the following. Here's time, here's distance from your locker. So you're at school. All right, so maybe uh, this first section, A, B, C. What could be happening in A? What could be happening in B? What could be happening in C? So why don't you pause the video and come up with a scenario of you at your locker if we were allowed in school. But then again, try that. All right, let's say, let's say uh, Tom walked away from the locker. Okay. And what happens at B? Well, he stops. At Jerry's locker, to talk. Okay, now notice A, he was walking, but look at the steepness of A and the steepness of C. What could be happening at C? Tom realizes he is late and runs to class. Something like that. All right. Now, let's read the next one and then you can try it on your own again. Create a graph to match the following story. Well, this one, they give you the story and you have to draw it. I was rushing to get to class when I realized I wasn't really late. So I slowed down a bit. When I got to class, the teacher was late, so I had to wait outside. So what would that look like as a graph? Why don't you pause the video and try it? And then I'll give you a solution. Okay, so... Here we go. Well, obviously he's running or she's running at the beginning. So it's rather steep. And then they, he realizes that he's not that late and he can slow down. So the steepness isn't going to be steeper. He's slowing down. It's going to be less steep. And then when he finally gets to his, his class, the teacher's not even there. And he has to wait for the teacher to arrive. So hopefully yours, it looks something like that. Very good. So that's our lesson. And um, we have some practice questions you can do. And you also have knowledge hook, which has been assigned. Now, don't overwhelm yourself. Um, you, if you're choosing one or the other or a combination of both, I think that's a good, fair amount. And, but uh, these questions are certainly good. The knowledge hook questions are certainly good as well. Okay. And here's just uh, some review and you have that in your note. So uh, good luck with that. And we'll see you next lesson.